Hello friends, uh, welcome to our channel. Today is our lesson that continues of our uh, statistics master class. Uh, today we are going to learn about the descriptive statistics, the measures of the variation. What's the measures of the variation? This is a kind of spread uh, around the mean. For instance, we have a central tendency of mean and uh, around the mean we have a kind of spread. It can be measured by range variance standard deviation and coefficient of variation variation is a kind of variability or difference the uh, difference of the of the data for instance we have a kind of data one two three four this is a four data expected uh, value of this th this data is a 2.5 and our data one two three four is divided in the two group and uh, five, uh, 50 percent of the data data below the uh, mean and 50 percent of the data above them this is a kind of simple variability the measurements of the variabilities we have a range as a um, variable, we have a range, variance, standard deviation, and coefficient of variation. Measures of variation give information on the spread or variability of dispersion of the data values. For instance, if you look at this data, this this uh, graph, we have a two data here, two uh, dispersion of a data here, and the the both of them have uh, the same uh, same center, same central tendency. In, in this case, is a mean, but have a different variability. The first one, uh, I mean, about the peaker one, it has a little variability, but uh, the flatter one has a you know bigger variability. Okay. The first me uh, measures of variation is a range. Uh, what's a range? This is simple measures of variation, and uh, how we can measure the vari uh, the range. A uh, difference between the largest and smallest value. For instance, we have a two value. We, we have we have here so, you know uh, median value, some uh, some value start from one and uh, end with a thirteen. Is the biggest value the thirteen here, and the smallest value one here. How we can uh, find the range of this data? We just take a you know. Uh, largest value of x minus you know smallest value of x and find the uh, range of the data in this case our range of uh, range of this data is a 12 okay for instance we have a data let me uh, write in here x and it has a some kind of frequency the first one for instance we have a 2 and it has a 5 you know 5 2 it's a frequency of 5 3 uh, we have a 2 4 uh, okay let me make it a little bit uh, longer and uh, for instance six uh, we have a eight and we have a ten okay this uh, kind of values we have x for the x we have a, a kind of values two three four six and uh, eight and ten for the four we have one for the six also we have one for the eight we have a two data and for the ten we have a one day it doesn't matter how frequently data uh, you know uh, data distributed we have the values and we look at the values and the biggest value in our you know data is a 10 and then the smallest value is a 2 and let me write in here x minimum value is a equal to 2 and x is a maximum value is equal to equal to 10 and the formula formula says that you know x max x max minus okay let me write like this minus x min and this will be our range in our case 10 okay 10 okay we get 10 minus 2 it will be 8 maybe uh, we have here 10 about 10 or 100 or thousand it doesn't matter how many data how many you know how, what's the frequency of a 10 or what's the frequency for for instance 15 here and 25 here it doesn't matter we look at the data what's the data data is uh, the value which uh, our random variable gets and uh, here in, in our case we have a 2 is the smallest value it's a minimum value and 10 is a uh, biggest value and we just take 10 minus 2 and we have a 8 this is our range of the data why the range can be misleading the first case here ignores the way in which data are distributed as i explained uh, we look at the data not the frequency of the data for instance if you have a data 7 8 9 10 11 12 uh, for any uh, for every data for every observation we have a one frequency okay so frequency is one and 
uh, range will be 5 and in the right one we have a 1 7 uh, 1 10 we don't have any 8 and 9 11 1 and it's 12, uh, 12 uh, we have 3 12 and uh, despite of this data despite of this distribution we again we have the same data 5 second case is sensitive to outliers outliers affect our data for instance we have a, a 1 2 3 4 5 and uh, every data has a different frequency and uh, here we have a 5 and 5 minus 1 is a 4 this is a range of the data 4 but in the next, next case we have a 1 2 3 4 and instead of 5 we have it's 120 and uh, this is a maximum value and this is a kind of outlier here and if you would like to find the range of the data just we take you know 120 minus 1 and we have a 119 as you see the, the, for the first data we have a 4 and the second data we have a 100 for, uh, 119 uh, despite of the data has the same you know apart from five five have uh, one here we have a five in the second instead of five we have a 120 but uh, the counts of uh, data uh, is the same here but the difference is a, a minimum maximum value and difference uh, as i say here outliers affected our range thank you guys for your attention and uh, if you'd like to support our channel please subscribe our channel wait our new videos uh, we will discuss the new uh, subjects in uh, in, in statistics and our masterclass continue see you in our next lesson have a nice day bye